What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. So you've probably seen out there examples of where ugly guys have done really well with women. Some of them are famous, some of them are rich, but how can you do it if you're a guy who feels like you're ugly and you still want to do well with women? Are there any ways that you can do this without being either of those two things? Well, from being a dating coach for years, I've helped out dozens of clients who feel like they are in this category. And I'm going to tell you some of the best ways that I've noticed to help these guys out. We're going to talk about seven of them. We're going to talk about some that you can just do really easily that will actually make you feel less ugly, which I think is a great place to start. And then we're also going to talk about other ways that are not associated with your looks at all, which still work tremendously well. All right, so let's talk about the first one. The first one is gonna be to improve your style. If you feel like you're an ugly guy, I guarantee you improving your style is gonna change your life tremendously. You're gonna feel more attractive just wearing a shirt that fits you, maybe getting a button up instead of like a gross graphic tee or something like that, okay? Just having a couple good outfits planned for yourself that fit well, fit is the most important thing, can change your look. If you feel like you're a four out of 10, you can go all the way up to a six out of 10 with some proper styling. So if you wanna hire a stylist, that can work too, but I would recommend you hire a guy stylist um, if you want to just ask your friends. But generally, guys, it just comes down to you looking in the mirror and deciding if an outfit looks good. Just making that little bit of extra effort uh, can really make a big difference. Here are some examples of outfits from guys of all different body types, and you can see the difference between when they actually tried to style themselves and when they didn't style themselves. There's a huge difference. Styling does work. It makes you more attractive, and women pay a lot of attention to it. Thing two is going to be to work out. Believe it or not, the first thing that women see when they look at a guy is not their face, it's their body. If you have a great body, there's gonna be a lot of women that are gonna think that you are attractive, okay? And it's not what you think. A lot of guys think they have a weird looking body. Just generally being in shape and looking capable is actually one of the more attractive things that you can have, okay? Women are not, well, not saying all women, but there are a lot of women that aren't looking for the bodybuilder type. They're more just looking for a guy who's capable or a guy who's like relatively in shape shape. He doesn't have to look super ripped. He doesn't have to have like six pack abs. He doesn't have to look giant. You know, he can just look like a capable guy. And a lot of times that's enough. Number three is going to be to do something with your hair. I find one of the easiest tips I can give a guy who feels like he doesn't have a very attractive face is to grow a beard. If you grow a beard, it can hide some of the features that you're a little bit worried about. And if you have a rounded face, it makes you look older, more distinguished, and just kind of more authoritative, okay, more masculine. So women are into this, but if you can't grow a beard, I highly recommend that you don't do this. If it looks all patchy and it doesn't look good, that's not going to enhance your appearance. It's just something that you can do on the table. But if you have hair on top, you can style that as well too and just doing something with it taking care of your hygiene and looking clean doing all of the first three things that i'm telling you can boost your rating up tremendously so if you feel like you're ugly try doing these three things and if you still feel like you're ugly well then keep listening because i'm going to give you some even better tips on top of this Number four is gonna to be to have confident body language. Women don't just look at the way you look, your God-given features, but they also look at the way that you stand, the way that you move, how confidently you move around. If you have confident body language, people are gonna perceive you as being more attractive. Dude, I can't tell you the number of clients that come to me that are so good looking by what they have, but they don't use it. You know, Maybe you're a guy who uh, doesn't stand up straight when you're walking around, and even though you're a really good looking guy, you have tremendous features, and like a good body, you stand in such a way that it hides all of that. And so nobody gets to see it. If I get a guy who can change the way he stands, change the way he dresses, you know, takes care of himself, he becomes like a new person. And the biggest benefit is not so much about the actual look that's different. It's about how they act and how they feel about themselves. If you are a more confident guy and you portray that confidence in your everyday life, dude, women universally are going to find you more attractive. Confidence is the number one trait that women are looking for. This is consistently ranked above looks in pretty much every single state, country, uh, and place around the world is that women are looking for a confident guy. So stand confidently, act confidently, and I guarantee you're going to feel more confident as well too. Number five is raise your social status. So I'll tell you a little bit of a story about a guy who was a hard case for me as a client. This guy, in terms of looks, probably was maybe like a three or a four out of ten at best, okay? He comes to me looking for some help with his dating life. So I do the usual stuff that I was telling you guys about. You know, we get him to wear different, some different outfits, we get him to take care of himself, stand in a different way. You know, the working out part he wasn't really that, you know, diligent with, um, but we, we were able to enhance the other parts. 
Now, with just doing this, he was able to look a little bit better, but he still felt like the women he was dating weren't the kinds of women that he wanted to date. He wanted to date higher quality women. So, what did he do to get these higher quality women? Well, <laughs> we couldn't rely on his looks anymore because we had done all we can with that, unless if he had chose to work it out. But we were able to increase his social status. What he did was he started organizing parties. He started bringing people in and started being kind of like the mayor of the room. So he was organizing these events. He was bringing a bunch of people in. At the parties, everybody knew him. Everybody wanted to shake his hand. Everybody wanted to talk to him. And as a result, women wanted to be with him. He became a much more desirable guy. Social status is probably when it comes to women, especially young girls, they are looking for a guy who's more popular, especially in that group, a guy who's well-liked. Popularity helps a lot more than looks and I've seen this time and time again with my clients if we can get a guy with a little bit just a little bit of popularity in his circles that can help tremendously so this is not fame it's very different from celebrity fame but this is something that's fully within your control so hopefully you've seen from his example that you can do this no matter how you look Number six is to be good at something. If you're good at something, then that gives you that confidence to go out in the rest of your life and act confidently. Too often I find that guys who consider themselves ugly, who call themselves those things, and it's, it's a word that I would recommend that you don't use. You don't, don't call yourself ugly, even if that's how you feel. But guys who call themselves ugly, they typically aren't good at other things. You know, even when it comes to, like I do jujitsu, like I'll get a guy who like comes in who feels like he's ugly and not good looking and then he gets really good at jiu-jitsu he gets a couple higher belts he never calls himself ugly anymore because he feels good he feels like he has something he has to offer towards other people so if you get good at something maybe it's a hobby maybe it's a, a sport maybe it's uh, you know your career if you good and feel good about something I guarantee you you're gonna be looking a lot better and feeling a lot better because you have something to offer number seven is going to be don't get down on yourself the example that I gave before I notice a lot of guys if they do feel like they're ugly maybe they'll make subtle jokes about it and, and you can tell that they're actually like really insecure about it you know in general if you are actually insecure about something I would you know be, be careful about joking about it or like getting down on yourself for it even if you feel like you're kidding, sometimes I feel like, you know, other people know that it's something that it, you, you are actually insecure about. Um, and above all, you guys, I know there's going to be people watching this video that are going to look at me and say, hey, Lloyd, it's easy for you to say. You're a decent looking guy. You know, I have to work three times as hard or five or whatever times as hard to get the same girls that you get. I know there's going to be people commenting saying this. Okay, if you're one of those guys, I understand that life has been unfair to you. But guess what? It's been unfair to everybody else. And we all have different positives and there's negatives to our own lives. If I would go out and do the same things that I did with the friends that I grew up with, I would not be here where I am today, okay? If I did those same things where women would literally be throwing themselves at my friends and completely ignoring me. If I did the same things that my friends did, I would never have been able to date those girls. But because I improved myself, because I worked hard and I did the things that I'm telling you in this video, I was able to actually improve my circumstance. And you can too. Too. And yes, you might have to work harder than the other guy who is good looking and gets it for free and gets it easier, but guess what? There is a pain to have to him being in that position as well too. I get more clients than I know what to do with who are super good looking that just never learn these skills. And it's harder for me to teach these guys a lot of times because they're used to just getting it for free. If you're a guy who's had to work for something and you can get the same things that they get, but you're just gonna have to work a little harder. And when you do get it, it's gonna be that much more rewarding. You're gonna know how to do this. You're gonna know the value of hard work and know what something means to actually get it. And in my opinion, that's a much valuable, more, it's a much more valuable thing to have in life. So yeah, you might start out at a different level, but you can still get to the same level as other people. And what are your options? Your options are you can whine about it and still continue doing what you're doing and you know be a victim of your circumstances, or you can work hard and change your circumstances. The choice is yours. So I invite you to pick the latter, not the former. And hopefully, if you got a lot out of this, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I talk all about how to do this in your everyday life. Cool, all right? Yeah, and if you guys want more help with this, like I said, I coach guys on this all the time. I have courses down below, links that you can click on. And uh, yeah, good luck out there, you guys.